Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys could make run at former $118 million Pro Bowl QB, says analyst. With Dak Prescott facing an uncertain future with the Dallas Cowboys, adding a veteran quarterback could have increased appeal to the front office. Heading into free agency, Dallas Cowboys. Com's Patrick Walker pitched former Tennessee Titans quarterback Ryan Tanhill as a potential option. The former pro bowler remains a free agent and given the latest news on Prescott, this idea is worth revisiting. Here is what Walker outlined about Tanhill in a February 13, 2024 story titled, Open Market, Intriguing Free Agent QBs for Cowboys. At first glance, I felt this one might be a bit of a reach but then I considered the fact Tanhill will be 36 years old this coming season and I do believe his days as a starter are now behind him, Walker wrote. That doesn't mean he's incapable of being a worth backup, though, and that's why I've put him atop this list. A look at Tanhill might be worth it in the realm of possibly being a potential upgrade to Rush, while also providing insurance in the event Lance doesn't progress the way the Cowboys would like to see as they ramp up work on their developmental QB program. The fact I'm intrigued by this at all means there might be something there to consider. Quarterback Ryan Tanhill has 151 career NFL starts. Tanhill would bring an impressive resume to Dallas as a former pro bowler with 151 career starts. The veteran remains without a home in free agency after completing a four-year, $118 million deal with the Titans. Spatrack projects Tannehill's market value to be a reasonable one-year, $4.9 million contract. Tannehill's best statistical season came in 2020 when the quarterback threw for 3,819 yards, 33 touchdowns and 7 interceptions while completing 65.5% of his passes. The veteran added 266 rushing yards and 7 TDs on the ground in 2020. Cowboys rumors. Could Dallas sign another QB and trade Cooper Rush? Dallas already has three quarterbacks on the roster with Prescott, Trey Lance and Cooper Rush. The addition of Tanhill, or another quarterback, would likely mean the end of the rush era and Big D Rush had multiple suitors during the 2023 free agency period before re-signing with the Cowboys. Could Dallas land a late-round pick by trading Rush? Tanhill may not be an ideal solution for 2025 if Prescott bolts, but it gives the Cowboys some insurance just in case the worst-case scenario plays out with the team's star quarterback. Cowboys News Dallas does not intend for Dak Prescott to hit free agency, says Insider. All eyes continue to be on Prescott with both sides prepared for the quarterback to play out the final season of his current deal. This would allow Prescott to hit free agency in 2025, but CBS Sports Jocena Anderson reported the Cowboys do not intend for this to happen. Regarding the Cowboys and Dak Prescott, I'm told the team does intend to work out a contract for their 3x Pro Bowl quarterback and also has not closed off potential to consummate a deal for him this year, per source, Anderson detailed in a March 27 message on X. While there's currently no offer or imminent talks, the team is not presently charting a path to let Prescott go to free agency, despite some chatter to the contrary, I'm told. Prescott's entire contract history with the hashtag Cowboys from his rookie deal, tagging, extension and restructures are all macro indicators of the eventual goal. NFL Rumors Ezekiel Elliott, Cowboys interested in reunion amid free agency. In a storyline ripe with nostalgia and the potential for redemption, the Dallas Cowboys and free agent running back Ezekiel Elliott appear to be flirting with the idea of a reunion. According to sources cited by ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, both Elliott and his former team are open to rekindling their relationship a narrative that adds a layer of intrigue to the off-season free agency period. While negotiations have yet to solidify into a formal agreement, the mutual interest speaks volumes about the evolving dynamics within the Cowboys organization and Elliott's career trajectory. Ezekiel Elliott, who is poised to turn 29 in July, spent the initial seven years of his illustrious career donning the Cowboys jersey, establishing himself as one of the premier running backs in the league. His journey took a detour last March when Dallas released him, leading to a stint with the New England Patriots. During his time in New England, Elliott showcased resilience and adaptability, particularly in the final stretch of the 2023 season, which seemingly has rekindled the Cowboys' interest in their former star. The potential reunion comes in the wake of the Cowboys' experiment with this year's fantasy football public enemy number one, 
Tony Pollard, which did not pan out as expected. While Pollard is a talented back in his own right, the dynamics of the Dallas backfield and the offensive scheme have evidently left the team yearning for a different kind of presence, one that Elliott might be able to provide, given his proven track record with the team. Elliott's tenure with the Cowboys was not without its challenges. Prior to his departure, he faced scrutiny over a perceived decline in performance, with discussions around his yards per carry and overall impact on the game becoming points of contention. Despite these struggles, Elliott's early years with the team were marked by remarkable achievements, including leading the NFL in rushing yards during two of his first three seasons and earning three Pro Bowl selections. His ability to grind out tough yards, combined with a knack for finding the end zone, made him a pivotal figure in the Cowboys' offense. Bringing Elliott back into the fold could offer several benefits for Dallas. Beyond the emotional lift of welcoming back a familiar face, Elliott's experience and versatility could add depth to the Cowboys' running game. His proficiency in pass protection and as a receiver out of the backfield could offer quarterback Dak Prescott another reliable option in the passing game. Furthermore, Elliott's leadership and experience could prove invaluable in the locker room, particularly for a team looking to make a deep playoff run. Zeke's time with the Patriots. During his time with the New England Patriots, Elliott faced a new set of challenges, adapting to a different offensive scheme and playing behind an offensive line that experienced its share of fluctuations. Despite these hurdles, he emerged as a consistent contributor, leading the team in rushing yards and showcasing his dual threat capabilities as a receiver. Elliott's performance, especially in the absence of the Patriots' top rusher Ramondre Stevenson, highlighted his ability to shoulder a heavy workload, a trait that the Cowboys are undoubtedly keen to leverage. Financially, Ezekiel Elliott's tenure with the Patriots was marked by a relatively modest contract, reflective of his desire to prove his worth on the field. His production, particularly in the context of his contract's value, presents a compelling case for a player capable of delivering solid value. For the Cowboys, the prospect of re-signing Elliott offers a balance of risk and potential reward, particularly if they can secure his services at a cost-effective price point. Standing six feet tall and weighing 226 pounds, Elliott was selected by the Cowboys as the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. Throughout his career, he has been a dominant force on the field, leading the NFL in rushing yards twice within his first three seasons, garnering 1,631 yards in 2016 and 1,434 in 2018. A three-time Pro Bowl selectee, Elliott has tallied 8,904 rushing yards and 71 touchdowns. In addition to his ground game, he has made significant contributions through the air, with 356 receptions totaling 2,649 yards and 14 touchdowns. Most recent season, Elliott participated in 51% of the offensive plays. Despite the challenge of working with a variable offensive line, he managed to lead his team with 642 rushing yards across 184 carries, averaging 3.5 yards per attempt, and scored three rushing touchdowns. His prowess was not limited to the ground game, he also led his team in receptions, catching 51 passes for 313 yards, an average of 6.1 yards per catch, and adding two more touchdowns to his season's tally, per ESPN. The storyline of Ezekiel Elliott potentially reuniting with the Dallas Cowboys is laden with potential narratives of redemption, resilience, and the enduring bonds that define team sports. For Elliott, a return to Dallas represents an opportunity to reclaim his status as one of the league's elite running backs within the familiar confines of an organization and fan base that have celebrated his highest highs. For the Cowboys, it's a chance to reinforce their backfield with a player whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the franchise's storied history. As the free agency period unfolds, all eyes will be on Dallas and Elliott, two parties whose past successes have set the stage for a captivating next chapter.